Support for Radio Friends comes from OsteoStrong. Improvements in bone density, strength, and power can be achieved by weekly five-minute no-sweat sessions on their four-spectrum machines. These isometric robotic machines safely emulate high-impact loading on different parts of the skeletal system, which stimulates activity in bone-building cells. Balance and agility can be improved by two-minute sessions on vibration plates. Every session is supervised by a trained coach. Learn more on Facebook or call to set up a complimentary wellness assessment and session. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Thursday, June the 3rd. We're going to talk about pancakes today. And I've got Ann McGinty with us from Boonwick Kiwanis Pancake Breakfast. And you're wearing a different hat today, yeah. Anne, because usually you come yeah. on in the fall and you yeah. talk about the... Uh, fiber and weaving. Yeah, and fiber and weaving. So today you're talking about pancakes. I am, and, and service to the community. I'm a member of Boonslick Kiwanis. There are four Kiwanis clubs in Columbia, and all of them are getting together, and we're going to have a one-day pancake day. I have this lovely flyer that I'm going to refer to. It's our 69th pancake day, and this is the first time we're only having it as a drive through because of all the conditions that right. you know this year has brought to us. And so it's going to be at the... Um, the, it's a drive through at the Cosmopolitan Club up on Burlington Street. Okay. And we have a, a Facebook page, uh, Kiwanis Pancake Day. And we also have a um, web page of Columbia Como Kiwanis Pancake Day. And so people can find out information about that. So, so what you do is you order the pancakes ahead of time? Well... Uh, we are allowing that. We have some corporate sponsors that are doing that. And so, like, they're ordering 20 or 30 breakfasts, and we're going to deliver those in the morning to them. But what most people will be doing is putting, getting in their car, bringing the family, and driving through. And it really is going to take just a few minutes to drive through. We're going to be baking pan, or making pancakes on our griddles from starting at 6 a.m., and we're going to be getting all those ready. And we're assuming that we're going to be selling about a thousand orders. Okay. okay. And how many? So you, you get the pancakes. How many pancakes do you get? You get three pancakes. Three pancakes, and, and they're good size pancakes. They're good size pancakes. And with two, sausage? Two sausages. Uh huh. And you get either milk or juice, orange juice. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they come, uh, how are they packaged? They're in a little, little, not styrofoam, but a little. Uh, I know a little a little, a little container, container. <laughs> yeah. And so okay. each uh, each container has the three pancakes yes. and the sausage. Yes. So you can drive in. Mm -hmm. You can get up at five thirty in the morning. Well, be there at six o'clock. Well, in the we'll we'll start serving at seven. We're serving from oh. seven a.m. until one p.m. We will be having our kitchen up and running though, at and six. at yes, at before dawn, so that we can all have those pancakes ready. Okay, so at 7 o'clock you can drive through. Yes, and we expect to have a line, but it'll go really fast because it's a it's a really good setup for this type of thing because you'll just sort of loop through. And the tickets are $8 uh, if one purchases them before the event. They're $10 at the door. Children under the age of 5 that are with the family in the car, they're free, and their little meal will consist of, I think it's two pancakes and uh, like a piece of sausage. Okay, and so. All right. It's but pretty mark exciting. it on your calendar. The date again is? It is Saturday, June 12th uh, from 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. And this is the way we raise money to serve the children of the community. All right. I appreciate it, Ann McGinty. And she guarantees that those pancakes are absolutely delicious. They are. You're making them yourself. I am. I am one of those from people crew. Well, what? It, yes. I mean, we will put the, together all of the ingredients in right. that kitchen. And we have a kitchen them. crew. And you're flipping those pancakes. Yes, it's a fun, fun thing to do. And to, we invite people to come join us at our Kiwanis meetings, too. Right. Thank you very much, Ann McGitty. And we'll see you in the fall for the betcha. spinners and weavers then. All right. All right. Best of luck with the pancake day. Thank you, Paul. Okay, so we go from talking about pancakes to talking about the League of Women Voters. And uh, I have Marilyn McLeod sitting over there now. Good to have you here, Marilyn. Oh, always good to be here. Thank and you. And you look so nice today in that outfit you have on. Well, thank you. You look a little Hawaiian. A little <laughs> but uh, what, what have we got going with the League of Women Voters today? Well, uh, of course, we have our monthly Lunch and Learn program. Mm -hmm. And that will be Tuesday, June 8th at now, noon. Is this a virtual lunch? This will night? be virtual, yeah. We're still doing virtual for a little while. Do you have any idea when you're going to get back to... Not real? really. Okay, so <laughs> for the time being, it's virtual. Right. 
Then what's the lunch and learn topic? This one will be on the funds received as a result of the federal funds received by the city and county as a result of the um, CARES Act and the American Rescue Plan. These are both uh, funding of individuals, like individuals probably have gotten stimulus checks and that kind mm -hmm. of thing, but also the cities and counties have gotten some funding and small business. It, so those are they'll talk about that. So we how have how that money is being used, right? Right. How, what's been received and how it's being used. And Janet Thompson, who's county commissioner, one of the county commissioners, will be on the program. And um, Columbia City Finance Director Matt Liu will be there too. So we'll have the two city and county represented. Okay. On so this, this program. is lunch and learn. Mm -hmm. It is on Zoom and talking about how the city and county are using the CARES Act funds, the money that is given to them with the CARES Act. Right, right. Then what else have you got? Right, and that, that's Tuesday, June 8th at noon. And if you want, you need to register. So go to the library's website or the league's website to register for it. So okay, you, get you have a to link. register ahead of yes. time to get right. your link to right. Zoom. Right. So either go to the uh, lwvcbc.org or you can go to Daniel Boone Regional Library right. and uh, register to get your link for right. the Zoom meeting. Right, just takes a moment. Okay, and then right. what else have you got? Well, you know, the League of Women Voters has an annual meeting, and at our annual meeting we had in April, um, we like to recognize what we call our friends of the League. Mm -hmm. So one of our friends are Paul Pepper and James Mauser. Oh. And uh, I, I don't have an official certificate, but I have an official letter designating oh, you, you as friends of the League, because we are so grateful for the time that you give us uh, to talk about what we're doing and other information that we can provide, you know, about whether to register to vote or that kind of thing. Well, we appreciate, honestly appreciate you coming on here and educating myself and all of us about what is going on in the central Missouri area. You always bring up the issues that are on the ballot which a lot of people, including myself, may not be aware of everything mm -hmm. that's going to be on that ballot. Right. Um, so I, I thank you very much for what you're doing. Right. Does the league have anything in particular on tap for this spring and summer? Actually, we're going to be a little quiet this spring and summer. So uh, we will have uh, this program in June, and then we'll kind of take a little hiatus, and we'll be back. But... Um, We'll come back on your program one more time to talk about redistricting, okay. which is that's a, hot topic. that's a hot topic, and that's yeah. something happening right now. So we want to at least pass along some information. Yeah, I think that's, that's something that a lot of people are not familiar with, of how that redistricting works and um, how it is set up for particular votes. All right, so we'll talk about that. Uh, if people want more information, the League of Women Voters, you can go to the Facebook page, the website, right, right. and you'll get it all. Right. All right. Thank you very much, Marilyn McLeod, for coming by, and, have, and thank you for that recognition. Yes, we thank you. <laughs> if there's something you'd like to hear or see on here, I would love to hear from you. All you have to do is drop me an email, pepperp, Missouri.edu. So on.